Hey, yo, we can't fight news. According to Anthony Dua, he believes Jarrell Miller is a rotten disease. You cut him in half, it's all negativity, and he's going to dispose of him June 1st. Hey, see King Fight News. We got more on this. Hey, yo. Anthony Joshua. Back at it, man. He's feeling a bit of a backlash. Uh, for the first time, he's understanding what it's like to have jit pissed off dude in front of him that really wants to beat his ass. Man, like, it's point blank. Jarrell Miller wants to get at AJ, um, and he wants to t- he wants to really push him to his limits in terms of what he can take uh, verbally. You know, he wants to put it. You know, he wants to make sure that he gets into AJ's head. That AJ's, you know, really thinking about what he wants to do to this guy. And you know, to me, mental edge goes to Jarrell Miller. In terms of what he's been doing to him, how he's been making AJ react. We never see AJ react like this. He's flustered, frustrated. Clearly, you know, this whole that whole that whole Monday, you can tell this guy's never really been in a good mood. So that will definitely take some that that, that will definitely that will definitely affect AJ uh his preparation. All right, so let's take a look at what uh, Joshua had to say. These boys are getting a lot out of the pot in order to fight. It'll raise his profile, but all in all, June 2nd, he'll be irrelevant. So it doesn't matter how much he wanted this fight. I just think if you cut Jarrell Miller in half, he's just a negative foul person and don't have much good to say about anyone or anything. So if you ask Jarrell Miller about anything, he's probably going to talk shit. That's just how he is, isn't it? So with this fight, I feel like he'll say what he has to say because it's just current. When you see Jarrell Miller, ask him about Dillian White. Ask him about Wilder. Ask him about Ortiz. Ask him about Brazil. He'll tell you the same thing across the board. Never something positive about any fighter. So if you cut Jarrell Miller in half, he's just a disease. He's just a rotting disease. <laughs> oh man, yo. You can you can just tell, man. You can tell Anthony Josh was a bit flustered here. He doesn't know um how to deal with Jarrell Miller. Um uh, and and oddly enough, you gotta look at what Jarrell Miller's doing. He's building the fight. This is what Jarrell, this is what AJ doesn't get. He's actually building the fight. He, he's helping you. He's helping you. But hey, just getting started, guys. I mean, just just look at what happened, right? Just look at what happened there, man. Look at what happened. That moment went, you know, semi-viral. You know, it 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 it, it was a bit of a shock wave throughout uh, boxing media when that happened. And and what a way to kick off a presser. You know, staged or not, uh, these are the kind of moments that build a fight. These are the kind of moments, right? Whether it's on some WWE shit or not. So, uh, AJ should really, he should really be thanking him. He's never had an opponent doing all this building, doing all the build for him like that, man. When's the last time AJ had an opponent that would build the fight like this for him? You guys tell me. Dillian White probably would have pulled some shit too, but um, Drum Miller can talk that talk, man. And that that's, you know, that's what makes this fight intriguing. It's it's not the fact that um, um, he could he could be fighting, you know, you know he pa- he he, pa- he quote unquote passed on a Luis Ortiz or he passed on a Dillian White fight. Um, this is intriguing because of Jerome Miller. And oddly enough, uh, Anthony Joshua, I don't know if he realizes that or not, but but that's the reason. This is the reason why this fight is intriguing right now. It's because of Jarrell Miller. So, you know, when AJ wants to talk all this talk, yeah, he, he's kind of feeling that type of way because no one's made him look like a punk. No one's punked out AJ like that. So, 
I mean, that's just my thoughts, man. E-King Fight News. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. And y'all know what it is. We're out. Peace.